Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I'm Cecilia Egg, and last time we covered the pumpkin pastures. Now like I said in the last episode, we had multiple locations we could go to. This is once again true for this one. Now we did complete pumpkin pastures, which allowed us to get to wreck a Arkhaven. I'm torn between going to the Soggy Swamp or the Cacti Canyon, because I really don't think I'm ready for redstone mines but lays in. But I also know the cauldron is one of the hardest bosses in the game. So I think we're going to cut it down the middle and go through the Cacti Canyon. This is by far one of the most beautiful environments in the game. Not necessarily structures, but it, it just has so many different plants, variations of grasses. And even when it comes to mobs, it's truly beautiful. Seeks to summon armies of the undead using a power that rests deep within an ancient and forgotten desert temple. Finding the temple, however, is an adventure in its own right, for the entrance lies hidden somewhere in this canyon, a sprawling maze of malevolent mobs and lost secrets. Where's Chickadee? Oh no, did I lose Chickadee? Where's Chickadee? There's Chickadee. What? Um. Uh, I'm not gonna question it. I'm going for it. Yep. There are some pretty cool structures, though, in the game. I have two chickens. You know, I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Can I get three chickens? Okay, I only get two. And now one. Nope, two. I get two chickens because I'm extra special. Now, there are a lot of baby zombies in this level. A lot of archers, too. So, make sure you're ready for it if you attempt it. Like, you can see baby zombies are here a dime by the dozen. Nom nom nom. That was rough. I walked right into that. What am I doing? Get myself killed. You guys are friggin' dicks. All right, moving on to slaughtering all the undead children. Probably sounds bad, but it's okay. They're zombies. The only thing they want is brains and pain or cause whatever. They're dead. It doesn't matter. Still happy I get two chickens. Now, this level is flush with mobs. There are a, a lot of mobs in this level. So you need to be prepared for that if you do want to take it on yourself. It's not too necessarily too hard like any dungeon crawler. It's just a lot. You will see areas later on in the level that are swarmed with mobs. And it's a lot. The children. Like I said, it's a lot. The children want me. They want to kill me. I'm liking these thunder arrows. Oh, they're already gone. Come to me, my children. Come to Mother Cecilia so she may strike you down.
And we've leveled up. Alright, I only have one more Thunder Arrow. Seeming to breeze right through here, but I'm gonna blame that on good equipment and fast clicking. Due to the fact that the tower video was so long to edit and get ready, I don't think I'm going to do another tower run until the story of the game is over. It took a really long time to edit that video. Much longer than I would have liked. But I still wanted a quality video to come out to you guys. I just don't think I'm going to do another one that long for quite a while. I don't actually have an editor. It's all me. I'm the one who records the video. I'm the one who edits it. There is no editor doing this for me. It's all me. I had to learn to do this. And I really enjoy doing it. Don't think I don't. But it can be a lot sometimes when you have a video that's over an hour long. The tower video was actually an hour and 30 minutes. I ended up shortening it quite a bit. It took me between my job and this almost a month to edit. So I'm leaning more towards shorter videos. Because I can edit them pretty quickly. I'm happy with the result. And I hope you guys enjoy them. If you aren't enjoying them, let me know. And I will maybe see about doing slightly longer videos. I don't want to keep do another hour video for quite a while. I'm not saying no forever. Just not right now. I also really like these temple beacons. Like, I know they're based off of the beacon. But it'd be really cool if you could find, like, a temple like this in Minecraft. I don't mean, like, the desert temple. I mean an intricately made temple with some kind of treasure inside. If you want to see something like that, or maybe you don't, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Maybe my aesthetic pleasing is just getting a bit of the better of me. See, I really like it when we have, like, little shrubs like these, the little mini cactus, the different layers of clay and sediment in the earth. And the cow skull. Look at that. Look at that little sign with the cow skull. That is amazing, and I love it. Now, husks are a lot slower than your average zombie, but they are a lot stronger. Don't let their slowness fool you. You can see how I just take three hits and I'm already at half health. Oh. Okay. Play the smart, play it smart, play it smart, play it smart. Come on, come on, come on. Let's try to not die. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to dying. 
Alright, alright. Oh! So close. You saw how close that was. Alright, let's go get him. We got full health again. Also, why do the skeleton horses, horsemen get, like, epic rock music? I want epic rock music. Also, I don't know if any other mobs actually get music like that, unless that's something they added in the Luminous Nights update. I haven't played too much since the Luminous Nights update, I must confess. I think we're close to the desert temple entrance. Of course. Ooh, I like the little clay pot. Like, you can see the little designs. I th it'd be really cool if you can make your own clay pot in vanilla minecraft like kind of how you can make your own banners that'd be pretty cool you could save up your dyes and your terracotta and clay gulp some really cool intricate things I'm always thinking about how to make my builds look more homely or realistic. I'm a builder at heart, what can I say? All right. Now we just have to get the golden key. Which should be fairly simple. It's so cool how it goes from uncapping it. Not only that, the sound effects to it are very nice. The wah, 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 wah. Look at his little eyes. <laughs> it's okay. We're just going to use you to unlock a door, and then you can do whatever it is you do in the rest of your time. I assume sit. Love the electrical arrows jumping from target to target. <laughs> Missed that shot entirely. the doggo growling. Ah, so close yet so far. Oh my. Oh, 
more mobs, 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 more mobs. I like how they also have the sand stained on the edge of these blocks. Two death. That's fairly embarrassing. I think I'm starting to rush a little too much on the episode. But it's alright because we're almost there. And of course, my good sir, we have to rescue the luxury merchant. How could we not? And here we are at the oh, temple. Found the ancient desert temple. Who knows what truths and treasures await you inside? Probably a crap ton of zombies. That's usually what's inside temples. Or skeletons. A crap ton of skeletons and zombies. They're hanging out. Let's check out our new merchant, the luxury merchant. He has an adorable little kitty. And a terrible sword. Why don't you nah me? You don't have a good sword. You don't have it. You don't have it, man. Village merchant. Uh, cute little bees. Alright. I think for now the storage chest. I'm gonna put my wolf armor in there. And my archer's armor because they're both rare items. Well, unique items, and I don't want to lose them. I just salvage most items that are common. I'll hold on to the tem Totem of Shielding, but I probably won't end up using it. Speaking of the Totem of Shielding, in Minecraft we have the Totem of Undying, which is what saves you in dungeons from, well, dying. But in the game of dungeons, they have the Totem of Shielding and the Totem of Regeneration. I think it'd be pretty cool if you could see both of them in vanilla Minecraft as well. And we have no new rewards to claim, which is okay. I'm looking forward to getting us a little friend. He's going to be so sweet and perfect. But that's enough about him. So, thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft Dungeons as we cleared the Cacti Canyon. If you liked this video, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe as I'm a new creator and it really helps me out. If you want to leave constructive criticism in the comments for what I can improve on or do better, let me know. I'm open to it. With all that said, I'm Cecilia Egg. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one and stay safe out there, folks.